Yeah, so it is Christmas Day. I'm going ahead and uh, trying to see if I can do my power steering thing right now. Just disconnected it from the rack. So I did the, tried to do this at the junkyard. It's probably the hardest thing. And I stripped it. And I just got out of my car and I let it sit in WD-40 for a couple of minutes. And I just one nugget dug and it broke loose. So I'm really relieved about that. I'm hoping the second one doesn't give me a problem. Um, other than that, I have the line ready to... To make the the new line that way i could delete all this extra shit and put the and put the pulley that nate got me for christmas so after that um i gotta see what's up with the knock sensor because yesterday i wanted to go drive the car and it was doing the thing and i replaced the knock sensor but i bought a cheapy one from ebay you can kind of see it right there and that green plastic wiggles loose, but it's screwed in. And I don't know if that messes up the connection or not. It makes the car drive stupid. So we'll find out. All right, y'all. So successfully, I went ahead. I took out the lines. There's a couple of 10 mil brackets. Like there's uh, one right here. I pulled that one off. The only one that wanted to give me issue was straight down. And it's hella dirty there. So oh, I can't wait to see the car with the tension in here. This is going to look so much better. But now I got to clean the filth. That's leaked power steering. So... I'm going to throw that on real quick, see if I could reuse the stock belt. If not, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use a, the pulley belt that it comes with. Most likely it's going to require that, but, you know, less work for me if I see if I can get it. If I could see if it fits the way it is right now, um, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, start making the line for the power steering. Guys, so I ran into not an issue, but a bump. So on one of the return lines or one of the lines, you have this fitting right here. And it's definitely not a 6AN fitting. It's like an 8 or a 10. I'm not too good with sizes, but I did go back and study the hose. So it goes from soft to hard. So obviously I would be able to take the hard line, push in the steel braided line, and then put the push on hose. So now what I have is a modified hard line where it's going to mount just like this. And then I'm going to have this bendy piece to flow right back into the rack. And I already have my fitting there with a little, little rubber thingy from an injector so i'm gonna throw this on and we're gonna see how she feels hey guys just for y'all who might be interested in this dqy tensioner make sure it's facing this way otherwise it will be stiff and it will seize i made the mistake of doing that so i had to turn it flip the wheel around and i was good i went ahead and i put these uh little things here that doesn't go tight enough so it's whatever it's gonna spin I took off the power steering and the throttle cable. I just zip-tied it to my strut bar. And damn, can I tell you, that's a big difference. No leaks. She's running perfect. Throttle cable's good. You see the tensioner putting in the work. So I'm happy. I'm about to go for a drive once it warms up. Yeah. The next day. All right, guys. Don't be mad at me. I was recording without y'all, but uh, you know, y'all know I did the power steering delete, so I figured, you know what? Fuck the AC, man. Disconnected the lines. Cause my whole AC system is out. It was pretty easy. The hardest part is the compressor. You do not have to drop the subframe. You just need a twelve wrench in a wrench and you need to have patience and some arm strength but as you can see i'm already cleaning down there it's filthy i hate it i hate it i hate it so i'm cleaning 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 there's a new knock sensor i don't have the deep socket to put it in so i have to wait for ninja to come but y'all can see that nastiness i'm gonna break clean because of the power steering it's still all gross that i have to clean so that's what i'm gonna get into that compressor is pretty heavy so that might be like maybe 10 pounds out now, 15 pounds lighter. So yeah, that's what I got going on. Hella dirty, hella nasty because of that power steering. So save some weight, run a little bit cooler now. We'll see what's up. All right guys, so I went ahead, put some purple power down, cleaned it, got my OCD out the way. Looking nice now respectable at least still gotta get some deep cleaning done right here 
I wish, really wish I could tackle the knock sensor because if I could do that, then I would be driving the car today. But unfortunately, I need the deep socket. So, yeah, that's my current situation. All right, guys, this is what we're looking like. All cleaned up. When I got the knock sensor tight, I had to throw some silicone on the plug because the clip is done. We also went ahead and deleted the idle air control valve for free, for free, for free. <laughs> So my also my uh, zero gauge came in, so I'll be doing that later. Just want to get rid of this ugly ground. It's all crunchy and nasty. All right, guys, it is New Year's Eve, last day of 2021. Working on the RSX a little bit. I don't know where I picked up off last, but I went ahead and I ran the zero gauge. So got it looking nice, tucked. Did it best as I could right here. I could have went under the hood, but oh well. I got it running through the fender. Under the, the door. Through the door. Through the fire. Or through the, you know, through the wall. I'm going to run it back to the battery. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick up whenever I'm trying to see how I want to run the grounds. So I'll show you guys that when I get there. the fender to the door underneath here you can see it stick out a little bit i don't care i have the seats folded down so it runs underneath the seat underneath the trunk carpet so right here connection is good solid solid just saving those tools out for whenever i get my my aem gauge and then i went ahead i ported my uh my homemade chichetto box Now it sounds way clearer. It looks nice too. So, yeah, that's what I got going on. It's waiting for that AM gauge so I can pull this one out. One week later. All right, guys, we got you on the tripod for another unboxing. The one I had I ordered this a couple days ago. AEM air fuel ratio gauge. Model number right there 304110. Sick. Uh, let's see how we're gonna take this out. The box is a little beat up from shipping, so. Okay. Gauge slides out. comes out oh damn oh shit okay here you have a, the white and silver face all right looks like you got some butt connectors i don't know what i think that's for the o2 here it looks like it plugs into the um gauge to the ecu Unless this looks like it goes from, I don't know. I have to read the instructions first. This is the O2 that it comes with. Beautiful. High flow O2 sensor. Put this back in the bow wrap. Do not want this one to get damaged. Very sensitive. 
rubber band for something. And here we go with, oh yeah, AEM sticker. That's going on my dash. All right, so I went ahead. I have it wired up to how the last uh, gauge was wired up. And I just have it like tested right now. Um, in the video that I was watching, his application, his gauge was a little bit different, but his wire from the extra harness did come out red to white, but this one was already wired black, so I'm just trusting a ninja that the black was the signal wire um, to the blue, to blue to the white, and then I already have the negative and positive ran to where ninja had it ran out, and I was able to actually get it, and it was funny, it said poo. Huh. So, that's sick.